Hey everyone, Tim here with Tim's Gym. And in today's video, I wanna share with you a really fun exercise movement pattern that most of us probably did during our childhood, and that is the cartwheel. Now what happens is we learn the cartwheel and we wanna know what's next. We do Arab spring, I wanna learn a backflip. And we forget that actually within this simple move of rolling over two hands, there's actually more we can dig into and gain from. When we do a cartwheel, it's almost like a mini handstand. We're passing into a handstand and out of a handstand so we can train our upper body strength. We're training our spin. We're doing a complete cycle in a very unique way. We can spin this way, but we very rarely spin with the whole body at length. Also our kinesthetic awareness, our proprioception, you know, our, our brain's going out of balance and then back into balance. Often we only have one side we like to cut. We don't realize that we can learn to cut well on the other side. So there's so many things we can do. Let's just get into it. The way I've deduced through the cartwheel is that there are six ways to do a basic cartwheel, each building in difficulty. The first one is the common side cartwheel. Everyone has one side they do. Normally, if, if I skateboard or I'm snowboarding, I go this way. Or if I run and skid on some water, I go this way. That's the side I cartwheel. Most people, it's the same way. A few might be different, but generally, same side. And in the very beginning, most people might throw a little, little low-legged cartwheel. That'd be the way to learn it. But from there, quite quickly, you want to keep the arms and legs straight in and out cartwheel. Next after that is to reverse it, what most people neglect, going the opposite way. So your uncommon side, the unusual side, in and out like so. Maybe you've got that, you're up to level two now. Level three is back to the common side cartwheel. And this time we're gonna go one-handed and it's gonna be the near side hand that we're using here. So dropping down, keeping the other hand by my side. In the beginning, if this is tough, you can have the other hand as sort of a safety hand and just tap down on the fingertips if you need it and then try to pull the hand away as you get better. So what's next? From that, what do you think's next? Same thing on the unusual side. So this time I'm going to my right, it's gonna be my right hand that's gonna go down. Like so, that's level four. Level five, any ideas what this one is? Maybe you've played with it already. Going back to the usual side, this time it's my far hand that's gonna reach across. So it's a bit easier with the near side, a bit harder with the far hand. We go across, level six of course, we reverse it. Back, you can do it with no hands, that's level seven. But those are six very relatively simple ways to play one basic movement and train your body to be even balanced on both sides with a cartwheel. Go have fun with it. Get out on some grass. Be the weirdo at your gym. It doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more from me or want to dig into this stuff with a group of other people, like-minded people that are down for the weird explorations of simple movements, consider joining the School of Biomechanics, which I'll link down below. Otherwise, hope to see you in the next video. Godspeed.